Hello everyone, George here, and we're back in Five Nights at Freddy's, at least I am, you probably are watching from the last episode. But we've gotten uh, a lot of progress going with the Foxy uh, Pirate Cove area, and you know what? It's about time I spend a little bit of my uh, video series actually implementing models of the other animatronics. So that's what we're going to do. I have open right now the Pug animatronic, and what I'm going to do is take this and transform it into my own variation of what Foxy is. Now, there's a lot of different models for who Foxy is. I mean, depending upon what you look at, he's going to look a little bit different each time. So going on Google real quick and searching for Foxy, of course, there's the iconic uh, sort of standard Foxy right there looking a little bit derpy. But let's look up Foxy FNAF versions. All right, so here's that lovely picture of just about everyone in FNAF together in one place. And we got uh, Cute Foxy, Demon Foxy, and uh, a few other variations. Uh, I don't really see it. Anyway, there is one. Um, so for the most part, Foxy is a pirate type character because he's from Pirate's Cove. But I'm going to put my own spin on how it looks. It's not going to look completely like this. I'm probably going to break it up a lot more comparable to what we've done with this pug character over here. So this video series might be a little long, maybe two or three episodes, because whenever I go into freeform modeling, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff happen. So bear with me here. I'm just going to see what happens. Okay, so for the most part, we can keep a lot of these elements. For instance, the eyes, uh, how this kind of works. We might need to move them in and out a bit, though. So let's grab all these elements here. I want to focus on the face at first. So grab all of them. Control H to hide all that stuff. Control H again. And zoom on in to just the face. And we're going to want to start manipulating these elements. Now, let's grab everything. Hit 1 on the keyboard to see the low poly approximation without subdivisional surfaces. And let's go from the front view. And that's top, excuse me. Uh, front Z, frame up with an F. Let's sh not show cameras. There we are. What I'm going to want to do probably is delete half of what I'm looking at here because I'm going to manipulate the other half and make it look the right way. Hit B to remove uh, the smoothing. I'm going to delete that. And really, we're just going to delete the whole thing. Delete. And yeah, really, I think I'm just going to cut this thing in half, start manipulating the other half of it, and see what works for me in terms of what uh, I believe this character should look like. So the first thing is, of course, I mentioned the eyes. The eyes need to be further inset, so I'm going to go ahead and delete all that stuff over there and just continue on here. I like working with half the model at a time. It makes things easier. The ears. Oh, the ears need to have an... The ears are up and out, so we're going to kind of go with that. Grab both. I'm just going to move them in a lot. In doing that, I'm also going to just go ahead and move that element in. And you can see I've already messed things up a bit. Right click, vert, and we're going to move that one out. So what I'm trying to do here is just speed things up by using this model I already have. Now, uh, a pug's nose is naturally short. Foxy's, I'm sure, is much further out there. So why don't we go ahead, take that nose. I'm going to go to uh, space, modify, and center the pivot. Move that out somewhere at least that far is what I'm guessing. Now I'm going to right click vertex mode, grab the face, grab all those elements there, W it, hit B for smooth select, bring that tool open, go to soft selection, not smooth select, soft select, 0 0.5, um, 0 0.5, and I just want a little bit of influence, uh, not like there's many polys here, but I do kind of want, I'm just going to bring that face out ever so slightly along those lines. Now Foxy, let's just see what happens, okay, once again. Freeform modeling, so things might go wrong at any moment. Bring that on back and up. Now I kind of want Foxy to be a really mean character, so I'm probably going to have multiple versions of the mesh you see here, uh, meaning I can furrow the brow multiple times. So let's grab all these elements here, uh, shift, right click, let's go to duplicate, hit yes, apply, separate, go to world chords, and move them out. There we are, perfect. Now, I'm going to want this to be a smaller thing, but ultimately I'm also going to want that to be managed relative from the... Actually, that's not a bad position or point. Let's do WDV to there. Now we'll do our scaling method. Bring that down a bit. And of course, out. 
There we are. Uh, not perfect, obviously, but let's fill that hole on the end. So right click, edge, double click, shift, right click, and fill that hole. Right click, face, grab that face, and move it on back, just to start out with. We got this nasty edge going across there. I wonder if this is a time where splitting this thing up a little bit differently, split it down that way. And now we've got this bit here, and that bit there and we got a quad going on right there that's probably you know what let's nuke that edge loop right click vert bring this up and out there we are so that's a quad that's a triangle that's a quad and it's going back in and around to the other side right right there so shift right click multi cut there to var and coming back around, it looks like I'm kind of going into a bad point on my model. Um, or maybe not. Maybe we just take that point and extend it all the way across. And use that as just uh, some more detail. Enter. If we screw it up, we'll fix it later. Let's just go with it. Okay, move that on out. Yes, this is going to mess up my... Uh, a lot of things in terms of um, quadrangles and things manipulating properly. Uh, shift right click. I'm going to finish that guy off now to there. Enter. And I'm also going to W right click vert and grab you and move you on out a bit. Do you see that? Did I screw that up that bad? All right, we're going to go back a lot. There we are. That's a tiny bit better. There's the quad going to there. I must have merged something. Right click, verts, grab you, pull you out a bit. Somewhere along those lines. Same thing with the rest of them as well. We really don't want this stuff to mess with us at all. There we are. Good job. All right, F8 and save. I'm gonna hit a two on that, just so I get an idea of what that looks like. Not what I'm going for. So we're gonna need to pull out these elements right here. Vertex mode, grab you. Now that I have them, I'm going to hit 2 again, just to see what I'm doing to this model. I'm going to pull that out. So it's a nice round shape. It's a lot going on here. I'm probably... Let's hide the inner animatronic elements, because they're going to get removed anyway. Foxy's a mean character, as far as I'm concerned. So it's going to have a lot of uh, sharp teeth. Let's grab everything, hit 3 on the keyboard, just to see what the soft version of this looks like. Now already we've got a lot more ripples going on, which I like, but ultimately Foxy has this fur that just kind of juts out from the side of his head, uh, right about here. So let's go to two mode, and uh, let's go to one mode, and we're going to need to extrude out some fur from this element here. So shift, right click, extrude, um, and why not? Let's go to world mode and just pull that out. Once again, no idea what this is going to look like, but we just need something to work off of. So there's that. Foxy has two segments of fur, uh, a lower and an upper. So I wonder if we go to one mode, it looks like there's only one segment there. So we're going to actually uh, F8, shift right click, insert edge loop, um, yeah, somewhere around there. And we're going to do this in two phases. The, uh oh. See these dots here, here, and here? That means we got a double extrusion going on. So they need to be deleted. So we're going to get rid of them right now. Delete, uh, face, delete, shift, right click, grab all these elements, shift, right click, and merge, merge, verts, and that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Just to make sure we don't have any extra stuff going on, delete a face and the face is gone. Always, always, always before you duplicate an extrusion, check it, because that stuff screws with you so bad. Um, yeah, move you on out a little bit. Yeah, Foxy, as we can see here, Foxy's just got a little bit of hair going out, and then more hair coming out with this frontal area. So I'm wondering, maybe this should be this piece, and this one over here should have that bushiness on the other side. That being said, eh, let's go with it. Grab that, move it on out, and go to three again. And there we go. We've got something. I'm gonna go to vertex mode, two mode, F8, come on, F8, hit 2, so we know what we're dealing with, and let's just manipulate this 
so it looks proper when we smooth this thing on out. And obviously these bottom sides are going to be kind of more in and up, something along those lines. And this, put that back in three mode. Okay, now we need the one coming off the actual main area. And you know what? If this character ends up moving his mouth and opening it and closing it, I probably don't want that element of it to move. We should probably cut this, duplicate it, move it off, and then work with that for the furry region on the side of it. All right, so F8, W, Q, right click, insert edge loop somewhere here, and grab faces, grab all of them, shift, right click. Let's do a extraction and move that off to the back. Now that that's happened, we can right click edge mode, go to these ones, right click and fill the hole. Now that's full, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, not good. Shift, right click, multi-cut tool. Um, so that's a triangle, that's a quad, and that's a quad over there. So we'll leave that for the moment. Hit two to see how that influences things. Uh, not quite perfect. Let's grab these elements, move them back a bit. And we're probably going to need an insert edge loop on that top, I think, if I haven't screwed up the topology. Shift, right click, insert edge loop, and what do we get if we do this? Something I actually like more. Okay, let's go with that. So we got that going on, we hit three on that because we're going to ignore it from here on out. This eyebrow is bothering me, it's going to need to be manipulated later on. I'm going to just kind of play with it a little bit for the moment, just moving the transform. Because I, I want a different face. I keep seeing the pug, and it's probably because this damn ear. So if we go to the ear and just start manipulating it, and obviously the top needs to be messed with. So two on that, grab these, and pull them up and out, maybe. And really, all this stuff, uh, one key, all this stuff should be an extrusion in. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's some bad topology right there. Move that over. Move that up, grab all of you, move you down, and move you over. Sorry for jumping around a, a lot, but when I'm modeling, and if I notice something, I kind of just want to jump into it. Ooh, oof, that's horrible. Okay, grab all of you, come to the side, pull you out, grab you as well, and pull you out, and grab this element, push it in. Same thing with these guys. Getting better a little bit that's bad over and over you know they always say when you're a beginner mess with uh orthographic mode or isometric mode more but i gotta tell you nine times out of ten i'm much i mean i screw things up as you just saw but i i much prefer perspective mode to working orthographic mode sometimes it really does have its benefits sometimes when you're perfectly trying to align things, but when I'm dealing with a character, when I'm dealing with something that I want, you know, proper proportions, uh, perspective mode just seems to give me a better idea of what I am doing. It's okay, not perfect, let's save it. Let's go to Q, right click face mode, and start grabbing the interfaces. If it will let me, there we are. Uh, now that we have the interfaces, I'm gonna hit three, just so we get an idea of the shape. Shift, right click, extrude. And we're going to move this to a one. And let's just see what we can do here. I'm just going to scale in a bit. This is going to be a little bit nasty, but we're just going to do it anyway. I'm probably going to need to tweak. Yeah, let's tweak it. Okay, uh, we're going to tweak this now. Save, save. Yeah, that's good. Right click, verts. And I, I just want to make that indent in the, in the ears, as you see there, here and here. That's what I'm working on at the moment. So grab those elements, move them in. Sure, why not? And more here, I think. Yep, good, good, wonderful, and better. Nope, wrong point, there we are. Okay, now we've got an indent going on. Now we need to push them inwards. So let's grab all the, see the edges aren't coming along perfectly anymore because my topology is crap. Face mode then, you, 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 see that? That face right there. Uh, let's do save, grab, right click, multi-cut, and put a cut across that to make quads with a triangle at the top. 
That's, I think, going to be a little bit better than what I have. Face mode, face, 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 face. The back has not been selected. Uh, shift, right click, extrude, and we're going to push them in. And more or less, this is more about uh, getting that stuff to work right. So we push it too far, it goes out. We push it in a little bit, and things are okay. We're going to obviously need to manipulate these verts a lot. So there's our ear. Looks like crap. Once again, we're going to have to play with this a lot to get it to work properly. So go back to one key and right click verts and we need that indent. It's a prominent feature on this character. So shift right click. Uh, let's just go to edge mode, maybe right click and bevel that. Uh, much more prominent indent on that area. So click right click to mode verts and start pulling these in. So let's grab all this crap and move it on out. Right click vert, grab that element as well, pull it out. And you just make what you think it feels right. <laughs> that doesn't feel right right there, huh? Uh, so let's do this and you as well out. And then these guys, these ones need some pointiness. So let's grab you and there you go. It's not perfect. But um, it's not a pug. It's certainly not a pug anymore. There's a lot more to do, and that's going to follow up in the next video. Once again, if you enjoy this series, please give me a like. I, I enjoy seeing that. It keeps me going. And uh, if you want to keep watching this series, you know, subscribing is always an awesome thing as well, so I know people like the content I'm producing. If you don't, well, leave a comment and tell me what's wrong with it. I'll see you all next time. Have a great night. So long. Bye.